Yes. Ah, oh, hello. My name is Esther Sanchez. I'm a sales director with Mary Kay. And today I get to talk to you about Glam Look. So I will tell you, if you've been to the classes before, whether as a guest or a consultant, you know that we've done eyes, we've done the flawless look, and we've done the contouring and defining. So I'm not going to go into detail today about the shape of the eyes and things like that. I'm pretty much going to go right into uh, the look. So let me share my screen really quick because the first thing I want to start with is definitely, this is our class. If you look at the bottom right quadrant, you see that our class today is that Glam Touch. And these are some things that I will talk about uh, in our class today. So let's get right to it. This is the look that I'm going to be doing today. You can find these on In Touch. I've already done half my face except for the lips with this look. And then let's begin with our brushes. We have amazing brushes. Just to let you know, fabulous fibers, they are synthetic. Uh, the first five that you see here at the top are actually right in our brush set, right inside this beautiful case. Uh, and then we have the a la carte brushes, which are at the bottom. And you'll see me use, I think, almost every single brush today, maybe except for the last two, I believe are the only two that I may not be using today, which is our foundation brush, because I'm going to do cream to powder and our blending brush. Those may be the only two that you do not see. And then I'll come to this shortly, but let me go ahead and stop that share and begin. So the first thing that I want to share with you, actually, it might have been on that page. Hang on. I'm going back. I'm going back to sharing my screen really quick. Sorry about that. And I did click on that. Let's see. Yes, I am talking about this right now. So let me talk about it before I share it. These are all glam perfection items. The way to really perfect your look. We have our foundation primer, which is, by the way, absolutely fabulous. This Everything that you see on this page is about prepping your face. It's about prepping your face to receive your product. Uh, just like when you're going to paint your house, that you put a primer to make sure that you fill in the crevices so that paint is strong, so it's long-lasting. Same thing with our foundation primer and our eye primer, which is right next to it. At the bottom, we have the uh, wrinkle filler, which is great to put anywhere that you have a wrinkle, but also especially those lines that some people may get around their lips that way your lipstick does not run anywhere or, you know, even though your liner helps you a lot with that, but it helps with that uh, preventative uh, feathering that we can get in the lips. And then the one all the way at the bottom to the right is our instant puffiness reducer where you see instant results. Literally, your eyes could be like a little balloon up here. And when you put that on, it's like letting the air out of the balloon. You just want to give it a little bit of time. Now you'll see me apply the top two that you see here are two primers uh, today, but I just wanted to quickly talk about those. And then yes, this I will come back to. So let me go ahead. And this is our fabulous primer right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply it. I do have another one. It's just, there's not a lot left. Now, like I told, I do have a mirror here on the side. I told you I had done half my face. So I'm doing the other half. And basically I put forehead, my nose, my cheeks, everywhere that I really want, like any lines, uh, any um, pores to be filled in by that primer so that when I apply my foundation, it is like perfectly set and ready to go. So I've got my pro palette here, which is so fabulous. You can see I have it set up. Uh, what you see here is my pressed powder. So when I talk about powders, I'll, I'll re reference that again. Here is my cream to powder foundation right here. My bronzer is here, my highlighter. I do have cheek colors. I'm basically, and some eye colors. I'm going to do this top row with this cheek color today, the top row with this cheek color today. So let me go ahead and get my um, little blotter right here, which is going to help me with that cream to powder foundation. You're going to see me blot that on. And what I love about that, we really do have, I love how our Samra said it, 
gosh, I'm trying to remember now exactly what she said, but you have a beautiful selection. It's like a menu of foundations. Uh, you're seeing me put the cream to powder on today and you're going to see the other, obviously half of my face start to look complete now. Yes, a foundation wardrobe. That's exactly correct, Samra. So if you've used the cream to powder, if you're a consultant and you've, the, you've used the cream to powder, or even if you're a guest and you've used it, please put in the chat or put another foundation that you've used. I love our uh, regular foundation. I use it daily, by the way, our performance preference foundation. I use that every single day on my face and I absolutely love it. What I love about our foundations, our performance preference and this one, our cream to powder is that they are layerable. Now with the cream to powder, you get a lot more coverage. So it's great for like a glam look like we're doing tonight. So I love, 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 love that. So we've got that on now. I'm gonna start putting some of these things to the side. And so another thing that I like to do that I'm going to showcase for you, um, we already talked about this, by the way, this was our um, filler. This is our filler and this is our uh, puffiness reducer. I did have those right here to show them to you in case you are interested in talking about either one of those to your consultant. I love, this is a finishing spray, which I will mention again, but I love to just apply a little coat after I've done my foundation because finishing spray can actually be applied at different moments throughout your makeup application so that you set what you've done so far. And so uh, we do have for anybody who experiences oiliness, we have our amazing oil mattifier. My skin is more a little combo, but in some areas getting drier. Um, and so our oil mattifier is great because what it's going to do, it's going to prevent, you're going to put it before your makeup and it's going to prevent that excess oiliness. Now, however, if you're like a super oily girl and you do use this, but still maybe like at one o'clock in the afternoon or anything like that, or you go to a party and you sweat, we have our fabulous, these sheets are fabulous. Um, and I love them because you pat them on, you pat these on. And what's great about them is that they won't remove your makeup. They'll remove the excess oil. Uh, and they won't, these are beauty blotters. I was trying to remember the name. Sorry about that. You know how sometimes the name will escape you. These are beauty blotters. So it's great to pat and they won't remove your makeup, but they will remove the excess oil. I know I love these as well. Fabulous, especially when you've been dancing all night with your glam look, you want to make sure that you've got that going on. All right. So uh, we have an amazing, um, eye color corrector. I don't use it because I don't really have a, like a redness under the eye, but if you do, you could use color corrector. What I'm going to put on today is some concealer. You're going to see me put on some concealer. I do like to do these areas. I had that, and I always do a little line here because what happens with, um, Concealer, concealers can also highlight. They conceal, but they also highlight. So what I love is, and I'm just letting it set for a couple seconds. What I love about it is that because it highlights, anything that highlights is always going to bring things out. So I'll tap it here. Uh, this is our cream brush, by the way. Uh, it's in that a la, a la carte section. But what I love about it is it'll help that line kind of pop out a little bit. And then uh, also here in my under eye area, I love to highlight that section. And then as you know, I have an oval face. If you saw me do the define and contour. So I do put in these little areas. And then with my little cream, you notice that I'm just tapping. It's called stippling and you can just tap that right in. Now I love to go ahead and set this, I know that earlier in my palette, you saw how I used the, um, how I have the pressed powder. We also have a powder that has color. And then we have our um, translucent powder, which I love to use because you'll see that it's white, but it doesn't come out that way. And so I love to put this on because it kind of sets all of that concealer 
that I've put on as you see my face again starting to change just last like last week right before your very eyes so I love that portion let me share my screen again because I probably have skipped something that I probably had to show really quick, but I'm trying. There's our translucent. As soon as the picture comes out, you'll see the translucent, which is absolutely fabulous because it's a universal uh, color because it's it, it's not it's not a color, which is great, but it will control shine. And like I said, it'll help set, um, you know, your your foundation it'll help set your concealer and then you have like I mentioned before oil mattifier as well as our beauty blotters all right and I just want to make sure and there's my look again but we'll come back to that so now let's do our eyes we're going to do some eyeshadow so I'm looking for my eye primer which is right here and let me get a little and this is what our eye primer looks like this is it nice and pretty Mine, of course, is the one that I'm squeezing what's left out of it right here. Uh, but I'm just going to squeeze a little bit. Uh, a lot. And I always tell people a little goes a long way and it's better to add than to remove. There you go. And basically, again, just tapping that on my eyelid. OK, now we're going to deal with three colors today, three colors. And we're going to work with these brushes right now. So I'm going to share with you my brushes. And uh, this is your all around uh, eyeshadow uh, uh, brush. So I'm gonna use that with my lightest color right here. It's biscotti. I'm almost sure it's biscotti, but I can tell you at the end. And basically that's gonna be in that inner portion of the eye, all right? That whole inner portion of the eye. I have a hooded eyes, so I don't put a lot of white at the top. You'll see how I spread my color. But you can, I don't know how well you, yeah, I think you can see it a little bit there. I think you can. And then, so that's my all over, all right? And I've just put on my highlighting color. Remember, highlight makes things come out. So it brings out this area of the eye. Then I'm going to go to this one, which is an angled brush. And it's your crease brush. This is your crease brush. And so I'm going to take my second color right here. And that is my, we're going to call that our mid-tone. That's our mid-tone color. And the mid-tone is almost like a uniter. It will unite. And I'm going to come wherever you let the brush rest. That's where the color is going to be the darkest. And then you're just going to move that in. Okay. Wherever you're letting the brush rest. Uh, sorry, it went a little bit all over here. But that doesn't matter. We're going to clean it at the end anyway. But wherever you let it uh, rest, that's where it's going to. And you're going to notice that I'm resting it and then coming in. But I'm also coming up here right along my bone. Why? Because I have hooded eyes. So I want my eyeshadow to stand out up here. And I'm going to take, this is great. I love when they came out with this brush, I was like, hallelujah. This is another a la carte. This is the blending brush. So what do you want to do? Notice how just like your wiper, back and forth, back and forth. And it gives it that beautiful. And then you're going to bring this in a little bit, just like that so that now you start to see how the eyes are coming together. All right, and I'm actually going to add just a tad bit more because this is a glam look. So we don't want to go light, you know? It's like, you know, we want to go dark. This is glam. So we want to glamorize it. But now I'm going to take my smudge brush. This is my smudge brush. I love it. Look at the tip. If you notice, my blending brush is loose, long and loose. This one is a little bit, not as loose as that one. This is my all over. My angle one for the crease has the angle for the crease of my eye. And this one is tight, knit and pointed. So I take my last color here, which is we're gonna call it our accent color because it is the darkest and it's going to accent. All right, so I'm gonna bring that one at the end and you're gonna see how, uh, just like Samra did, if any of you saw her, it's like a little V that you're creating here at the end of the eye and you want that to be the darkest point right there. And always remember that dark colors are always going to bring depth to the eye, definition and depth. So that's what I'm doing here, but look at what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take that again, my blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that, just blend it. I'm gonna blend that and you're gonna see how nice and even, the eyes look now, don't they, right? 
Now Esther looks like she has two eyes that are fully coordinated. And what I love to do with my all over brush, I like to take a nice, uh, this is a crystalline, that nice little crystalline, and I'm gonna tap it. And I put a little bit of that in just that inner eye, because remember it's a glam look. So I want that inner eye to kind of like, really like poof, stand out baby. And so we've covered now, I always want to take this one, which is the double-sided for the brows. And I'm just going to comb my brows, even though I haven't done them yet. I just want them to take their formation so I can start to look good. And then I'm going to move now into eyeliner, people. We're going to get this done today. I'm not going to run out of time. Uh, we're going to take our eyeliner, new eyeliner, which is, by the way, fabulous. I want you to know that amazing it's creamy it's glides on it's waterproof and so i'm just going to start feathering it in here and bringing that out and i hope that you can kind of see me there i know my hand is a little bit in the way but you'll see it as i'm finished uh, i'm just feathering oh you can see me perfect i'm gonna feather that out bring it out I'm going to bring some closure here. You know me, I like that closure. Plus it makes the eye bigger. It makes it pop. I don't take it all the way in. But what I am going to do with that, remember that smudger brush with the little point on it? All right, that, that I did my accent color the darkest. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just add that color and bring all of that together for my eye. So I just have a little bit of that accent color along with my liner. And, and you know, this one's looking a little bit light. Let me pull that in there. There we go. So I look nice and even. Voila. You see that, ladies? And I think so. we had a gentleman on as well. But uh, you see how wonderful that looks? I'm looking nice and even. And I'm going to take that concealer, the cream blush, the cream brush, sorry, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the end of my eye and I'm actually going to clean it. Look at that. So that that comes out nice and lifted because you know we're all about the lift. We are definitely all about the lift. So we're gonna do a little bit of brow. And you know, I like to use both. I like to use our brow pencil to fill in and give some shape here because I do have a little space here that I like to color. Uh, I don't need that much of a lift in this one. I also love what Sa Samra said. Your brows are sisters, but not twins. Samra, that was like explosive in my head. And this is our little brow tint right here. Okay. And basically what I use that for is to control. I don't know about you, but my brows love to go like all over the place. They love to wander. And so what I like to do with this is because it is uh, a tint, it combs it, but it also fixes them there. You know, it like keeps them in place. And I like that because if not, the hairs are like going boop, boop, everywhere all over. All right. And now we're going to go, this eye has mascara, but this one doesn't. I'm using it. Again, we're doing a glam look. So I'm using our um, Phonorama mascara. That's another thing. We have a plethora of mascaras. And what I normally do is I twirl my wand, no in and out, because we don't want to let in bacteria. And we do not want our um, mascara to dry. If you know how long we can keep mascara, please type it into the chat right now. When do we have to renew our mascara just change it up who's gonna put it in there ding 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 somebody put it in and basically i do to the top and the bottom but i love our fanorama mascara because it just brings the world you know it it, it, it elongates your lashes it separates your lashes it makes them thick so it does like all the others all put together and another, yes, three months, excellent. And then the other thing is, is that you can add coats to your mascara. Like I already put one coat, this is a second, especially for a glam look, you wanna add coats to your mascara and you're gonna see the incredible, fabulous height. Before my, my, my note, look at that. 
Like, look at that, people, right? Can you see that? Like, the eyes are like, this eye is always smaller than this one, by the way. Again, even the eyes, they're not twins. They're sisters, but not twins. I love it. So, so far, we have taken care of our foundation, our concealer. We've done our eye, our primers. We've done our shadows, our liners, our mascara. Let's do a little contouring, which we did last week together as well. Let's do some of that contouring. You remember the brushes? I'm gonna use this part of the brush for my bronzer and I'm gonna go in there and just right below my cheekbone and back. Always giving it a, about two fingers from that end point and just bringing that. I went a little bit low here, but I can fix that. And you know, it's okay for a teacher to have to fix something because that lets the student know. And look at already, look look at look at the change, people. Look at it, the magic. Uh, I think it's great when a teacher says, oh, I need to fix that. Why? Because everybody can learn to do this. If only the teacher could do it, that would be no fun. And so that's my bronzer right there. I'm not a person who needs to put here, but we'll put a little bit here. But you know, I do like to put here just to bring this in because of course I'm a little older and so uh you know I like to help that out give it a little bit more of a chisel correct yes and now I'm going to go for my cheek color Ooh, that juicy peach I'm using juicy peach just like you Samra I love that juicy peach sometimes it picks up a little bit extra so you can tap it off you don't want to blow on it and you're going to come basically again about two fingers and you're just going to, again, work that back. But, you know, this is a glam look. So we can't just stop at a little bit. We, gl we got to glamorize this, uh, this, this face, right? We got to glamorize. And notice how then we just blend that. You want to blend it together. You don't need a line that separates each step. You want to blend. So never be afraid of, you know, moving that brush up and down, up and down because we do want to blend that. I want to make sure that I look nice and even there. Yes, beautiful. And so never be afraid of the color. I love color. I love color. <laughs> because color brings you to life. You know, don't be afraid of the color. Let me do this here. There we go. It can always good. fix everything. Yes. We have two minutes left. Just want to Okay, like perfect, perfect. And so now I'm going to do a little highlighter here. I like to do a little highlighter in those key areas for my shape of face. So that is beautiful. Look at that. I do want you to know that our brushes are synthetic, but we've got this amazing brush cleaner. You can use the brush cleaner. You can use the bar of soap just to make sure you clean those. You should do that weekly. Uh, and that's very important. It's a great, and I love how it smells. I don't know about the rest of you that have used our brush cleaner, but I love the way our brush cleaner smells. And so here we go. You got to take care of the lips. I didn't have time to take care of the lips last time. I'm going to use our amazing waterproof, just like our uh, eyeliners, that waterproof. I'm going to use it to line my lips. Yes, yes, yes. And I like to fill in. I like to fill in. This one is the nude one. The, the, let me see if I can see the color so I can tell you. This one is... Um, Beige nude, yes. And I I I line them and I fill them in. I line and I fill in. There we go. Look at that. See? So I already have like a color. Now I'm going to use uh for a lipstick for this color. Again, on in touch, and I'm using exactly what they recommended. It would be great, great if I could naturally buff. That's what I'm using. Naturally buff. Look at that. Are we being taken away already? I thought it was two minutes. A little, a little gloss right here. Look. You have 17 seconds. You're doing oh, well. All right. This is the look. This is the look. And for those of you that are here as guests, oh my goodness, really quick. Let me get to that. I know, I knew I was gonna make it. Make sure to ask your consultant about this amazing 